The colors of the home represent the story about Uma Fajar, the sunrise, Mount Agum. The wood is blackened, but it's also related to this idea of a volcanic eruption. And the colors of the red brick remind us of the lava flow, which we were witnessing live as we're building. We would come here in the evenings and we could see Mount Agum erupting and lava coming, you know, like this glow coming out of the volcano. Go as far as you can. We learn how to use that and embrace that to the best of our knowledge. And then you make it better. <laughs> We love this neighborhood, we love the valley and the view and the sunrise. We get the most beautiful sunrises. It's the best time of day. How are you, Jack? How are you? How are you? A lot of the materials that we used are related somehow to the fire and to earth. So you will find these themes reoccurring through the house of either something that is burnt um, or something that is red. So the red brick is something that gets fired in an oven and that redness might be the sunrise but it might also be the lava flow. 2017, Mount Agung erupted and we were in the middle of building all these walls with the lava stone and the supply from the lava stone comes from the volcano. So it was providing us with more materials to build the house. So there was this idea that Mother Earth is giving us the materials that we need to build the house. We're very privileged and I think the children are very privileged to grow up with so much nature around them, to have these open views, not to be caged into, into a space. It's, it's a very open space. Our children have a very strong relationship to nature, to animals, the insects, the lizards, and there's the fish in the pond, and, and so that is very much part of how they're growing up. the traditional Balinese gate, which is known as the Ankul Ankul. Then you come past this gate and it's a little bit like a rabbit hole. It's a little bit like Alice in Wonderland. And, and this little gate you have to squeeze through. And there is something they call the Aling Aling, which is after the gate, which has also something to do with scaring off or confusing any evil spirits. To go further into that concept, we decided to have this bridge that leads to the house. We decided to make it zigzag a little bit, um, again, to get any spirits a little bit dizzy. When you enter the main door of the house, you're in the living room. So living and dining room open up 
into one space and you have the wide open view in front of you. But you still feel like in a cocoon when you're inside. So when you have heavy rains, you feel really comfortable. And the kitchen. You love the kitchen. You always say this is your favorite kitchen of all the houses we've lived in. Yeah, I would say so. I think it has evolved over the years. You get fresh air in from outside, but it's not too open. And you can use these two counters really well. The colors, yes, everything you put there looks nice. It was when we became a family. I really felt that I want to eat at home with my family and I want to have this. I want to have what my mother gave me. And a home only becomes a home when you can also eat at home. People, friends of ours who've been here on the island and know us, it was just seeing their reaction to it and being like, wow, this is the best house we've ever been to. It, it, it adds on su such an incredible additional layer to the whole experience. It's a very intimate journey to do a house for somebody and for them to see how we were living. We have created a lifestyle that people are coming into. And that's a beautiful thing.